News. I am Lian Ying with Xinhua News Agency. You are now watching Xinhua Live. Today I am here at Guanling County of Southwest China's Guizhou Province to report to you about Bei Panjiang River High Speed Railway Bridge. And the bridge is right behind me. Although the bridge is already in use, it has to be maintained every day. The Bei Panjiang River High Speed Railway Bridge is 721 meters long and spans 445 meters, which is a part of Shanghai Kunming High Speed Railway Line. It links the country's prosperous eastern coast with the less developed to the southwest. It is the world's largest long span reinforced concrete railway arch bridge, as well as the largest long span bridge among China's high speed railway bridge. It takes six years to build the high-speed railway bridge, but only six seconds for the high-speed train to pass over it. The Beipanjiang River High-Speed Railway Bridge started being built at the year of 2010 and was finished on 2016. The Beipanjiang River High-Speed Railway Bridge is built upon a mountainous region which is 300 meters above the river. Now we're getting to the impending curve at the bottom of the bridge arch. The maintenance workers need to examine the bridge every day to make sure the safety of the railway line. Dangling at a height of over 300 meters, the bridge maintenance workers need to stand on an impending curve at the bottom of the bridge arch. The maintenance workers are in charge of different works. One is responsible for observing by binoculars and one is in charge of the general manipulation. Although the safety belt is tied to the guard rail, they need to be super cautious. Even if they pass the tools from their left hand to the right hand. I'm now at the work site. I'm going to follow the workers to examine the bridge. Now I'm following a team of maintenance workers to get to the work site. On the way to the examination spot, the workers need to climb the ladder every day. It is steep and dangerous, like doing rock climbing without wearing a safety belt. The workers need to be fully concentrated. Now I'm climbing the stairs. I am out of breath now. I can't imagine how these maintenance workers of High Speed Railway Bridge doing it every day before working. There are eight maintenance workers in total. These eight maintenance workers were selected from 745 applicants. Now, we're starting going down. The path is narrow, steep, and rocky, partly with only a rope on one side. I need to hold fast on it, otherwise I may fall down. The maintenance workers need to be the maintenance worker needs to work at a height of 300 meters 
and climb Alana's Fortress Mountain Trail. They need to be healthy and physically qualified. Now I'm following the maintenance workers to, to climb the stairs. The maintenance workers need to examine the bridge by observing uh, the cracks of the bottom of the bridge, and they can't ignore a crack as thin as a hair. There are eight maintenance workers in total. These eight maintenance workers were selected from 745 applicants. Since the maintenance workers of High Speed Railway Bridge need to work at a height of 300 meters and to climb along the tortuous mountain trail, they are qualified because of their good physical condition, strong adaptability to high altitude work, and fearlessness of great heights. The average of them is 24 years old. These eight maintenance workers are from all over China. Some are from the East China, and some are from um, Northwest China, Gansu. Every day, they need to climb the stairs to examine the, the bridge. They need to guarantee the safety of the railway line. Because of the firmness and stability of the Beipanjian High Speed Railway Bridge, the high speed train could run 300 kilometers per hour. There are 70 pairs of high speed trains speeding by the Beipanjian High Speed Railway Bridge, delivering more than 12 million passengers a day and the maintenance workers need to examine the bridge every day to make sure the safety of the railway line. The maintenance workers are selected from 745 applicants because of their good physical condition, strong adaptability to high altitude work, and fearlessness of great heights. The average age of them is 24 years old. They're from all over China, some are from East China, Shandong, some are from Northwest China, Gansu. They have a very high sense of responsibility to guarantee the safety of the railway line. Guizhou is a province of China, which is located in, in southwestern part of the country. It is 2,000 kilometers from Beijing. It takes three hours by plane and eight hours by train to get there. Guizhou is a province of China which is located in the southwestern part of the country. It is 2,000 kilometers from Beijing. It takes three hours by plane and eight hours by train to get there. Guizhou is a relatively poor and economically undeveloped province, but rich in natural, cultural, and environmental resources. Demographically, it is one of China's most diverse provinces. Minority groups such as Miao and Yao account for more than 37% of the population. Guizhou is a mountainous province, which lies at the eastern end of the Yunhui Plateau. The, ha the highest point of Guizhou province is 2,900 meters above sea level. And Beipanjiang River High Speed Railway Bridge is built upon the mountainous region which is 300 meters above the river. It takes six years to build the high-speed railway bridge, but only six seconds for the high-speed train to pass over it. The Beipanjiang River High-Speed Railway Bridge started being built at the year of 2010 and was finished on 2016. Affected by the strong winds, each side of the examination cart runs in different speed. So the maintenance workers need to guarantee each side of the examination parts running in, in the same speed. The, 
maintenance workers are examining the engine of the impending cart. There now is 300 meters above the river. These eight maintenance workers were selected from 745 applicants. Since the maintenance workers of High Speed Railway Bridge need to work at a height of 300 meters and to climb along a tortuous mountain trail, they are qualified because of their good physical condition, strong adaptability to high altitude work, and fearlessness of great heights. The average of them is 24 years old. Rail transport is an important mode of long-distance transportation in China. China has the longest railway network in the world, with a length of 25,000 kilometers, accounting for two-thirds of the world's total, like total lands of other countries far behind. China's high-speed railway is known for its advanced technology, safety, and reliability, as well as its relatively low price. China's railways are among the busiest in the world. In 2017, within only 62 days, railways in China delivered about 592 million passenger trips during the summer travel week, which ran from July the 1st to August the 31st. Southwest China's Guizhou province is 2,000 kilometers from Beijing. It takes three hours by plane and eight hours by train. Guizhou is a relatively poor and economically undeveloped province, a rich in natural, cultural, and environmental resources. Demographically, it is one of China's most diverse provinces. Minority groups such as Miao and Yao account for more than 37% of the population. Guizhou is a mountainous province, which lies at the eastern end of the Yungui Plateau. The highest point of Guizhou province is 2,900 meters above sea level. The maintenance workers need to examine the bridge every day to make sure the safety of the railway line. Dangling at a height over 300 meters, the bridge maintenance workers stand on an impending part at the bottom of the bridge arch. Sometimes it takes even six hours to finishing Examining bridge. They can't ignore a track as thin as a hair. It is their responsibility to guarantee the safety of the railway line. The Beipanjiang River High Speed Railway Bridge is 721 meters long. It spans 445 meters, which is a part of Shanghai Kunming High Speed Railway Line. It links the country's prosperous eastern coast with the less developed southwest. It is the world's largest long span reinforced concrete railway arch bridge, as well as the largest long span bridge among China's high speed railway bridge. It takes six years to build, to build the high-speed railway bridge, but only six seconds for the high-speed train to pass over it. The Beipanjiang River High-Speed Railway Bridge started being built at the year of 2010 and was finished on 2016. Because of the firmness and stability of the Beipanjiang River High-Speed Railway Bridge, the high-speed train could run 300 kilometers per hour. There are 70 pairs of high-speed trains speeding by the Beipanjiang High-Speed Railway Bridge, delivering more than 12 million passengers a day. On the impending curve at the bottom of the bridge arch, the maintenance workers are in charge of different works. One is responsible for observing by binoculars, one is in charge of keeping a cart going at same speed, and one is in charge of the general manipulation. Although the safety belts is tied to, guard, to the guardrail. They need to be super cautious, even if they pass the tools from their left hand to the right hand. It takes four to six hours to finish in an examination of the bridge. The maintenance workers were selected from 745 applicants. Since the maintenance workers of the high-speed railway bridge need to work at a height of 300 meters and to climb along the tortuous mountain trail, 
They're qualified because of their good physical condition, strong adaptability to high altitude work, and fearlessness of great heights. The average of them is 24 years old. They're from all over China. Some are from East China's Shandong. Some are from Northwest China's Gansu. They have a very high sense of responsibility of guarantee the safety of the railway line. Now they're standing at the impending curves at the bottom of the bridge arch to examine the bridge. Because of the firmness and stability of the Bei Panjiang River High-Speed Railway Bridge, the high-speed train could run 300 kilometers per hour. There are 70 pairs of high-speed trains speeding by the Bei Panjiang High-Speed Railway Bridge, delivering more than 12 million passengers a day. Rail transport is an important mode of long-distance transportation in China. China has the longest railway network in the world, with a length of 25,000 kilometers, accounting for two-thirds of the world's total, like total length of other countries far behind. China's high-speed railway is known for its advanced technology, safety, and reliability, as well as its relatively low price. China's railways are among the busiest in the world. In 2017, Within only 62 days, railways in China delivered about 592 million passenger trips during the summer travel peak, which ran from July the 1st to August the 31st. The Beipanjiang River High Speed Railway Bridge is 721 meters long. It spans 445 meters, which is a part of Shanghai Kunming High Speed Railway Line. It links the country's prosperous eastern coast with the less developed southwest. It is the world's largest long-span reinforced concrete railway arch bridge, as well as the largest long-span bridge among China's high-speed railway bridge. It takes six years to build the high-speed railway bridge, but only six seconds for the high-speed train to pass over it. The Beipanjiang River High-Speed Railway Bridge started being built at the year of 2010 and was finished on 2016. Because of its firmness and stability, the high-speed train runs 300 kilometers per hour. There are 70 pairs of high-speed trains speeding by the Beipanjiang High-Speed Railway Bridge, delivering more than 12 million passengers a day. High-speed train Guizhou Province has run over 1,200 kilometers during the past three years. China has the longest railway network in the world, with a length of 25,000 kilometers, accounting for two-thirds of the world's total, like total length of other countries far behind. China's high-speed railway is known for its advanced technology, safety and reliability, as well as its rel relatively low price. China's railways are among the busiest in the world. In 2017, within only 62 days, railways in China delivers about 592 million passenger trips during the summer travel peak, which ran from July the 1st to August the 31st. So the maintenance workers need to examine the bridge every day to make sure the safety of the railway line. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.